What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to Challenge Your Boy Jared. Y'all, let's take a look at a video from Kendra G. And, um, yeah, I already know this one's gonna be dumb. So, we're not even gonna waste time reading the damn comment. Uh, not conversation. We're not even gonna waste time reading the damn title. Lord Jesus. You ready? Hi. Let me get into these glasses. Hey, Kendra, how are you? Okay. Those are cute. Thank you. What's is your name, PJ? Yeah, I uh, I was here about two years ago. Say one more time, love. I was on here about two years ago. Do you have an update for me? Uh, no, no. We have grown since two years. Yes, uh, I turned sixty-two this year. Okay, looking good at sixty-two. PJ, where you live? Where you calling me from? Uh, South Houston. South Houston. How old are you? I'm 62. Oh, you just told me that. What's your zodiac sign? Taurus. Taurus. When's your birthday? April 28th. Oh, you're April Taurus. Okay. PJ, what do you do for a living? I am an inspiring uh, mo model and a uh, entrepreneur. In well, upcoming in the entrepreneur. So you're an inspiring model and an upcoming entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Now, who in the fuck is she modeling for? And she's an up-and-coming entrepreneur? Okay. Yeah, okay. But a model? Ma'am. Really? Oh, God. Yeah, how you, do you make money doing both of those things? Uh, Not yet, but coming up soon. But I am retired. You're retired. Okay, so you're retired. All right, so you are an uh, aspiring model and, uh, and uh, an aspiring entrepreneur too? Yes, I am uh, working on becoming a um, remote uh, notary. So Okay, remote notary. Do you have any kids, PJ? I have five. Five kids? How old are your five kids? Uh, 42, 30, 28, 26, 20, and 24. Okay. All about the same man? Uh, four. Wait, she... You know what? She had a last child at, 20, at 38 years old. Okay. You know what? I ain't gonna... I didn't woke up it. Four of them and one is uh, from a different man. Two men. Two men. Okay. You ever been married? Twice. Twice. We married both of their dads? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you been, were you married to both of their dads? No, just one, Seth. One. Okay. And when did you get divorced last? Uh, 21. Oh, okay. All right. So we got PJ, 62 Taurus in South Houston. She is an inspiring model and um, also an inspiring entrepreneur. She's retired though. What are you retired from? What was your profession? I was in the military. Okay. She's retired. Mom's of five kids, but they're grown. Uh, 42, her youngest is 24. Five, two men, married twice. What kind of man are you looking for? I am looking for a man that's um, honest and uh, has a lot of integrity, character, um, pretty much um, self-sufficient, um, has his own business, knows what he wants and where he's going in life. I don't need nobody to uh, be in his feminine uh, energy. Um, I don't need no whiners. I don't need no one to not be indecisive. Uh, he needs to be confident in what he's doing and uh, uh, a go-getter. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Uh, my deal breakers are smokers, um, um, complacency, I'm not sure of himself. I'm looking for someone to uh, to lean on. I I don't need I, I don't need to babysit, and I'm not going to. Okay, and she's not going to. Okay, should he look a certain way? Uh yes. Uh, as you can see, I I, I like to dress nice and I like to look nice, and uh, you know you got something that you know they're they're satisfied with uh, just being mediocre and uh they don't care about how they look they just okay but i like a man that that likes to dress nice and 
you know, smell good and, you know, like to take care of themselves and go to the, you know, go get their nails done and their beard done and, you know. At this point in time, I'm just getting fucking sick of this shit. If this is our elders, we are in bad shape. If this woman represents majority of our elders, we are in bad shape as a community. This is pathetic. This woman sounds as if she's damn 20 in her 20s. She looks good for her age. I ain't even gonna lie about it. 62 and looking like this, she look way better than the fucking damn 20 year olds that I know. But if this is the mindset and the state of mind in our community, oh my God. You know, make sure they hair, you know, or the, if they bald, make sure they, you know, take care of their skin. So, yeah, I, I like that. Okay. Um, now, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um, at least close to what I make or, you know, it doesn't, when it comes to money, um, that'll come. Long as you know how to manage your money and you got good credit and you you know you know how to uh, be wise in your spending and also um, be um, courageous in being um, decisive and making sure that everything is taken care of and that you're crossing your eyes and dotting your teeth and not be a risk taker. So yeah. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, <laughs> it's been a minute, so. Oh, you look really good. Okay, let's see. Okay, give us the model walk since you're gonna be. She's an aspiring model. Give us this model walk that. People why did it look like a BBL? She had. Why did it look like she had a BBL? Cause I don't know any grandmothers with a body like that. So she's had work done. I don't know any grandmothers that have a body like that. She most definitely has some work done. People gonna be paying her to do. Woo! That legs are off to the side. Woo! Okay. Okay. Strange. Strange. Naomi Campbell walk. Naomi Campbell walk. Okay. PJ. Woo! Look at that booty. <laughs> We see you, Mama. We see you. Okay. So, PJ, you're 62. What is the age range you want to date? Age range would be, have to be between uh, 59 and 66. I don't want no one too young anymore. I try the young. Uh, I, like, I do have a lot of young sirs that try to come towards me, and uh, I try to date one or two, and it didn't work out. And uh, I try to date someone a little older. That didn't work out, so... 59 to 66 is good for me. 59 to 66? Yes. Okay. Should he be in South or Houston? Uh, no. Uh, and he doesn't have to be um, as far as um, our race or anything. It doesn't have to be black. It doesn't have to be white. It doesn't have to be uh, European. It doesn't have to be anything. It, you know, we don't ask for the color that we are. And uh, so, as long as you're a, a gentleman, and that's all that matters to me. Okay. So, you're open to all races? All races, yes. Okay. When was your last relationship, PJ? Uh, 2021, when I got a divorce. We got a divorce. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? <laughs> I not, I'd rather not discuss. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Uh, overthinking. And um, another one is I, I do can become impatient uh, once I explain something and seem like they don't understand or comprehend. I do become impatient. And also, um, I do have set high goals on myself and um, and I won't stop until I accomplish those goals. Okay, so you accomplish those goals. All right, and why would a man be lucky to be with you? Well, I've always been one to uh, voice my opinion about who I am, and I'm, I'm not going to change who I am. And 
I just want to interrupt, interject right here, and I want to go back to something. Close on myself, and um, and I won't stop until I accomplish those goals. She couldn't come up with three flaws about herself. She could not come up with three flaws about herself just like these younger women. She's just as bad as the young women out here. I'm better off buying a used F1 a used 2021 through and up F150 with a with a coyote engine. And and building it to a thousand horsepower, than dealing with this type of woman. Okay, so you accomplish those goals. All right, and why would a man be lucky to be with you? Well, I've always been one to uh, voice my opinion about who I am, and I'm I'm not going to change who I am, and you know, and uh, I feel that a man should um, not only. Um, value my opinion because I will will uh, value his as well and we should be able to come together as one understanding and being able to compromise and understand that you know we're human and we all have a, a value of wanting to be voiced uh, of how we feel about certain um, criteria of conversation and uh, be able to you know express those conversations and opinions so um, I'm always been one to not just voice my opinion of situations, but also about life, you know, because a lot of people don't talk about life situations or news or um, just life itself, you know, because you gotta sometimes sit down and, and discuss what's going on in the world. And if you don't do that, then you're lost in the metrics of life. So, um, I, I like to talk about different facets of, of uh, world news and arts and stuff like that. So you got to be kind of compatible in, uh, in your discussions. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to, they always want to jump to this and that, that and this, but you got to have that maturity to be able to have those discussions and uh, realize that there are many things that you can discuss about um, not just today or this moment, but about the world, about the suffering and the pain that people do go through. She said all oh, that just to say nothing at the end of the fucking conversation. Oh my God. If this is the state of our fucking grandparents and elders, Jesus help us. Okay, okay. So you want somebody you can have the conversation with? It's a little deep sometimes, but you know, I, I do offer a lot. Um, I do love to travel, and uh, I do uh, I, I do value um, the uh, uh, about people. I, I do care about people a lot. Okay. Ma'am, that shit don't fucking matter. You are at the age where you need to sit your ass the fuck down and rest. This is the type of woman that's going to just try to get you to get the fuck up and do all manners of shit. This is the woman that will go skydiving. She'd be the type of have a damn heart attack in the middle of the air while you skydiving. Listen. Ooh. L double I says, stop trying to be classy and let the folks know you a freak, Auntie. <laughs> well, you know, you know No, grandma. What you do in the in the streets, you can't do it, you can't do it in the sheets, so you can't let everybody know what you do. <laughs> Kelly Rogers says, what military branch were you in? I was Army. Army, okay. 
Coffee Killer said, you are a very beautiful black woman. Do you travel? I do travel. She does travel. All right, the time has come. Have you downloaded the Kendra G Singles dating app yet? This is the first night I've, I, I've been on your show in, after two years. And uh, I've been so busy and I will, I will definitely download it today. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to comment because I'm going to say some real foul shit and I already am feeling a little under the weather when it comes to this bullshit. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all want me to keep it a buck. I'm, I'm just honestly getting sick of this bullshit. I'm honestly getting tired. And the fact of the matter is that these women right here. These women right here are the very type of women that will dog on keep your ass. Did they they would keep your ass running to you damn near in the fucking ground. Let her tell it. If you ain't if you ain't out there dog on working, you is a lazy one. She'll be the one to call you lazy as hell if you not if you not out there in the streets working your ass off. You lazy as hell if you not doing nothing with yourself. That's the very type of woman right there. Honestly, but on a on a serious note, she not gonna find some. She not gonna find a man that's she 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 find somebody. But he not going to be as spunky and amped up like she is. Anyone know how I know? Just, just look at, just look, just look at her. She's not, she's not going to be, she's not going to, she's not going to find somebody that, that's going to be able to keep up with her. She's not. Regardless of what she says, she's not going to find somebody that's going to keep up with her. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.